And this morning we've come to Winchester Cathedral. You may know the original name for Winchester is Venta Belgaro and is named after the tribe of the Belgae who founded Winchester and they come from what is now Belgium. So Sarah and I have got tickets to go up to the tower. It was £15 to do it and there are I believe somewhere around 300 steps. What you do is you actually walk right across right up at the top above the ceiling on a wooden walkway. So come on, you can come with me. Here we go. Up a hundred odd stairs. Round and round we go. <laughs> okay, so we've now walked up over a hundred stairs and we've got to the top on a wooden walkway above the cathedral. It's amazing. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble. I'm glad there's a roof there and you don't look all the way down. <laughs> down the stairs and on the side here it's actually got a date. 1937 written, I don't know if you can see. Okay, so we're now going through this tiny little doorway. We're going down backwards. It's a tight squeeze in here. Wow. Hello. Oh my word. <laughs> she made it. The views are spectacular. You've got to have a look at this. William of Wickham was a medieval bishop here. He was the original poor boy made good. He was born locally, came from a very poor family, and he rose up through the establishment and he became Lord Charles of England, which is a bit like being prime minister. But of course, in those days, you had the king above you who was all powerful. But in 1383, he founded Winchester College, of which Wickham's chapel is part. All this here, the buildings that you see, Catherine's Hill, all belongs to Winchester College. So this is the part that we've just walked along, along there. How special. The bells are now ringing. It's amazing. We're right at the top. So we are looking south and the horizon is 25 miles away. Jane came to Winchester with her sister Cassandra. Uh, she came here to consult a doctor at the Royal Hampshire County Hospital. And it's still a matter of debate, but it's thought to be something called Addison's disease, which is a failure of your adrenal glands. Here is the bell tower in Winchester Cathedral. The bells are spectacular, look at them, wow. You may never thought about it, but for about 85% of the life of this cathedral, it's been lit by candlelight. Electricity was only invented in the middle 1800s. These winches here, they've got a cable running around the drum, and the cable goes through this hole down here, well, it's got a stopper in it, and on the end of the cable was a chandelier with candles in it. So when the candles had expired, the monk would come up here, wind them down, replace the candles, and the monk would wind it back up again. And that's where the fire warden sat in the Second World War. And in fact, no bombs ever fell on Winchester Cathedral. Well, that was really, really good. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And we've got a little certificate to prove that we've done it as well. This is up in the bell tower where we were just stood and that is the trap door where they lower the bells down from every hundred years to be retuned. The last time they were brought down was in 1937, so the next time will be 2037. This door, it's the oldest one in the cathedral, 800 years old.
these are the gardens right next to the cathedral they are so beautiful So I'm now walking down to College Street where I will find the last house that Jane Austen lived in for six weeks before she died. This is College Street and we saw all of these buildings when we were up on the top of the bell tower and I believe it's the last one which is the lightest colour and this is the house that Jane Austen lived her last days in and she died on the 18th of July 1817. The oldest bookshop in Winchester. Just stopped for an ice cream. Had a very bizarre conversation with the ice cream man. He says, what would you like? And I said, a 99 with a flake and lime sauce and I said that's because of the ice cream man I had as a child called Memo. He turned around and went, Memo, very good friend of mine. Now what are the odds? I was brought up in Southampton, I am here in Winchester. Small world. Oh wow. Swans and a heron. This is beautiful. I hope that rain holds off. Just walked along the footpath there. Come to the end and it brings you out at the bottom of Winchester High Street. And there is the statue of King Alfred. The architecture in these buildings is amazing. This is the Westgate Museum. my train back to Southampton. So I've caught the train from Winchester to Southampton Central and now I'm on the number 19 bus to go over the Itchen Bridge to Wolston. Then I have to walk from Wolston back home. I think I might sleep well tonight. I'm almost back. <laughs> my legs are killing me from going up and down that tower. Just need to sit down, put my feet up. Not sure I'll get up again, but <laughs> it's been a wonderful day. So if you have five and a half million pounds, you can buy a house here.